hi welcome back once again to my video on real life issues if you're just watching for the first time my name is Frances Onako and this is a YouTube channel for learning chemistry and also discussing real life issues so today we are going to discuss real life issues we're going to continue from the story I started in the last my last video on real life issues which is how what I went through in my 20 years of childlessness not I personally but that's the topic and the name of the person that went through it her name is happiness so but before then if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe you know you're not going to lose anything instead I'm sure you're going to gain a lot okay because this is a channel where you learn a lot you learn a lot you learn a lot knowledgeably and then you also get inspired and motivated and you learn you learn and uh, stories of other people and know that you're not your own is not the worst you know some people have undergone a lot of worse experiences and they are still standing strong moving on so stories in the on this channel will inspire you to that to move on that i mean life hasn't ended no matter the challenges you are facing you know just trust god i mean that is the ultimate trust god and you will he will you will see how he will bring you out of that situation and place you in a firmer in a firmer and stronger place where you never thought you would be okay so before then before we enter the next the real story let's um, start on continuation of the story on and um, how happiness what happiness went through in her childless uh, years childless years yeah and um, if you see if you among if you just recently if you start having children once you get married if you thank God because you don't know what God has done for you you know what childless couples undergo can only be imagined and never experienced and it's best never to judge them don't judge them because you don't know what they are going through. And it's not always their fault that they are like that. Yeah, it's not always for the person's fault. There were reasons why God allowed certain things to happen. So let's just move on without talking much. So I, I ended where happiness said, happiness had a fight with um, Ruth, the younger sister of um, the husband, uh, Tamuno and because of that they had to move out of the house to their own and they had to rent a house for peace to reign and peace reigned because someone or the husband warned the siblings that they can they could only visit them on one condition that they respect his wife if you're coming to this to, to disrespect and insult or fight my wife please don't bother coming i will not be welcome i walk you out it actually even wanted to ban them initially but i the happiness said she said i why always use i because as she was telling the story she was using i <laughs> so he wanted to ban them but she told him she stopped him from doing that and you know so he had to take this other alternative and because of that the siblings never visited the mom said as far as happiness was still his son's wife that she will never set foot in that house until he gained some friends. So for happiness, she started living at least the, the she was living peacefully, she had some peace of mind, which he never had in that house when the problem started, you know. And then but she was feeling sorry for the husband because it's like it was like a, he was no more in much in contact with his relation, his family. Except the dad, the dad was neutral, has neutral throughout, you know. So he used to call 
once in a while to know how things were happening and he was never rude to happiness or insultive to her so well it continued on uh, she she and of course she loved her job when she was in the house because when she was in the family house because of what she was undergoing so the husband had opened another branch she opened another branch and there's money they have money they opened another branch and placed her there so that she would be busy you know and it throughout whenever she complained he will uh, console her and tell her let them trust in god you know he married her a virgin and he, he knows that god will answer them one day so happiness <laughs> She was moving from one place to the other, well, taking one concussion or the other, taking different concussions, all to no avail, moving from one hospital to the other, moving from one church to the other, you know, yet nothing happened. Finally, she got tired and they tried IVF, IVF failed. So they decided to do adoption. Finally, you know, because during that process, during the years that we are passing by, the younger siblings of Tamuno also got married and they started producing their own children you know so people that they got married much earlier than got married and started producing children so the thing was really affecting them so much and finally they decided to do an adoption to adopt so they started looking around asking around for browsing for good adoption and agencies and uh, they finally got one and Started looking, she happiness said she was actually looking forward to that. She couldn't feel her way to hold her own child. On the morning they were about, they were to go uh, for the registration. She started feeling, she woke up very sick, feverish, and then uh, very nauseated. She kept on vomiting, so she thought it was something that uh, she ate. And the sickness was so bad that they, they had to postpone their. Um, visits to the adoption agents and uh, the next day this continued so it became worrisome so worrisome and the husband suggested that they should visit the hospital to know what was wrong so at the hospital some tests were taken and then finally they were told that she was pregnant in fact it was a moment of shock to them because that was the last news according to happy that was the last news she was expecting she had only given up Hope of ever getting pregnant, you know, because she had never been told she was pregnant, she had never tested positive, you know. So she had she felt that maybe God didn't want her to produce her own children, you know. That's why they decided to opt for adoption. So it was it was a wonderful news. It was a wonderful news to them, and uh, she called her parents immediately. Tamuna said he will not tell his people because of what the wife excuse me, <coughs> had undergone. He said she will not tell his people. So she called her parents and Hi. Publishing on Amazon is one of the best things to happen to you as an author. Number one, you publish your book without spending a dime and you earn without having to stress yourself. Amazon does the work for you. Your only job is to publish. Put down your details and Amazon takes it up. Do you want to learn how this is done? You want to learn how this is done? Just, it's an easy process. It's an, it's an, in an almost free way. I will not tell you free way because of course I will charge you a little. I will charge you for spending my time and effort but then you get much more than you're going to spend just press those numbers on top send me a dm and we start immediately your plug is there see you she had to call her mom according to the husband's suggestion you know to avoid any stories that touch so the mom came and helped out in, in some helped out at least she stayed for a, for a long time until the, at least the danger period passed and then you know Tamuna as of course didn't want to tell his people but good news travel fast even bad news travel fast news travels fast and the mother in the, his mother landed on the doorstep at the doorstep you know to their surprise and shock and when 
she saw happiness because by then she was showing that was in her seventh month she, she she could not believe it so it's true she told her son and you could not even tell me she started crying the son told her but mom you said you didn't want to see my wife again as far as i was still living with her so why should i tell you you know so the woman was really she felt bad and she said all she did was out of anger and sentiment you know she said for forgiveness Happiness forgave her in spite of all the pain she made her go through. She forgave her. There was peace and joy. The siblings, she forgave everybody, you know. And there was peace and joy. God finally blessed them with a baby girl. And before uh, two years, she was they were blessed with a baby boy, you know. So they have girl, they have boy now. And they are happy. You know? So finally God smiled on them even though she went through a lot so we thank god for that there's nothing god cannot do no matter the situation you're in just keep have faith thank god for the husband who stood by her throughout you know because at the time they had that had to tell her that if your husband changes my daughter come home once your husband changes come home but the husband never changed he stood by her throughout you know and at the end god blessed them yeah, that husband deserves a murder. You know, not all men can do that. So we thank God for happiness and we pray for you who is undergoing that kind of situation that one day God will also smile on you and you'll be able to tell your own story with smiles and in order to inspire other people. So that's the end of the story on how happiness what she went through in her 20 years of uh, marriage and for you mother-in-laws and uh, siblings please stop stop tormenting your uh, daughter-in-laws your daughters-in-law if they don't they, if they who, who knows where the fault is it might be from your son you know you don't fight god by doing that you're fighting god is it because you entered your own home and immediately started giving you birth you know please stop doing that it's not fair you know and you daughters Okay, like uh, Tamunos last child, that's born, that they are their last born in their family, Ruth, who was tormenting, who, who took it upon her head to be fighting and to be challenging happiness because she couldn't get give birth. It's yet to get married. So at least at the time I got this story, she was yet to get married. And of course she's no more that young, you know. So you don't know the consequences of the actions we, we take. We don't know the consequences. So let's always try to be understanding of other people's the, the challenges and not judge or torment them, you know, because <laughs> you might suffer because of that. So God fights for people, especially people in such challenges. So there's nothing God cannot do. If you have inspiring stories or motivational stories that will, will help somebody who is on the verge of giving up, please do send, send in. Send this so I can tell. I, I know I don't have so many uh, followers now, but I know that, that my stories get to reach a lot of people. People feel it, feel my stories, and uh, they read. I also send it. Uh, I also do post it on my blogs. That one reaches a wider audience. Yeah. So tell your story. You don't have to show your face if you don't want. You don't have to tell your say your real name. You know. I, you don't have to say your identity if you don't want. The important thing is the let the story be able to inspire people. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and till we see you next time, have a good time. Bye.